Analytics helps to answer business questions, discover relationships, predict unknown outcomes and automate decisions. And this field of analytics has two major job profiles which are data analyst and data scientist. But do you guys know what is the difference between these two job roles? Well, we have created this video on data analyst versus data scientist to answer exactly that. Also, I'd like to inform you guys that we have launched a completely free platform called as Great Learning Academy, where you have access to free courses such as AI, cloud and digital marketing. You can check out the details in the description below. Now, before we go ahead, please do subscribe to Great Learning's YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you have a notification of our upcoming videos. Also, do hit the like button and share the video with your peers so that everyone has access to high quality education. On that note, we will start off by understanding the responsibilities of these two job roles. So as you guys can see, on the left side, we have the responsibilities of a data scientist and on the right side, we have the responsibilities listed for data analyst. So a data scientist is mostly concerned about developing analytical models. Now, when I say analytical models, these are actually your ML algorithms such as linear regression, logistic regression, decision tree and random forest. So depending on the problem statement, the data scientist has to build these ML algorithms and the task of a data scientist doesn't end over there. Now, once the data scientist builds these ML algorithms, he'll obviously get a result. Then he'd have to verify if the result he has got is accurate enough. So he has to go back and tweak the hyper parameters of the model which he has built so that he can get the best accuracy possible. And this is what a data scientist does. Now, when it comes to a data analyst, what it does is mostly exploratory data analysis and under exploratory data analysis, what he do is data manipulation and data visualization. So I'll give you a simple example for this. So let's say if you are a data analyst and your boss comes up to you, gives you this huge sheet, which comprises of around 10,000 rows and hundred columns and asks you to find out all of those employees whose age is greater than 30 and whose salary is greater than $100,000 per annum, would you actually go through each of the record and verify the age of the employee and also the salary of the employee? Well, that would be extremely time consuming and also stupidity on your part. So this is where what a data analyst does is he uses uh, simple tools and using these simple tools, he can just write one line of code and with that one line of code, he will immediately get the result. Now, again, when it comes to data visualization, again, if we take the same example, so if you are presented this huge sheet and asked to find out insights from this huge table, obviously you will not be able to understand anything. But on the other hand, if you are actually presented with some bunch of graphs, then you will easily be able to find insights from that data. So this is what a data analyst does. And this is the difference between the responsibilities of a data scientist and a data analyst. Now, going ahead, we'll also look at the skills needed for these two job roles. When it comes to a data scientist, as I've already told you guys, he has to work with these ML algorithms. And apart from that, he would need to have knowledge of Python, R, TensorFlow and Keras. So under data science, since data science again is an umbrella term, a data scientist would be working on a lot of things. And if the project is related to maybe deep learning or artificial intelligence, then he'd have to have the knowledge of these deep learning frameworks such as TensorFlow and Keras as well. And with the help of these deep learning frameworks, he'd be able to build something called as neural networks. So with the advance in data science, neural networks are the thing and data scientist definitely needs to know in and out of this concept called as artificial neural networks. Then 
there are two optional maybe subjects which a data scientist would normally work on so there are fields of natural language processing and there are fields of computer vision as well so i'll give you examples of both of these when it comes to natural language processing now i believe all of you would have a smartphone and let's say if you have an apple and uh well, in an iPhone, you have the simple voice assistant named as Siri. And if you ask Siri, what is the distance between sun and the moon? It will immediately reply you the correct answer. Similarly, if you ask Siri whether it will rain today, again, it will give you an answer. So how is Siri able to understand what you're speaking? What you're speaking is a human language, isn't it? It is actually a natural language. But how is Siri able to convert this natural language into a machine understandable language? So this is where natural language processing comes in. And this is something which a data scientist needs to have a knowledge on as well. So the data scientists who are working on developing chatbots such as Siri and Cortana, this is where they need to have knowledge of natural language processing. Now, when it comes to computer vision, again, I'll give you guys a simple example. Now, I believe most of you would be on the social media site called as Facebook. And whenever you are tagged in a group photo, and if you move your cursor on the face of someone, you will immediately see the name of that person, isn't it? So how is Facebook tagging a person's name when you are hovering the mouse on that person's face? So this is where computer vision comes in. So these are some things which a data scientist works on. Now, when it comes to a data analyst, a data analyst has to work on the raw data which he has. He mostly works on the pre-processing side of things. And for pre-processing, he would need to have knowledge of SQL, Excel, Python, and R. So these are the primary tools which a data analyst normally works with. And normally business intelligence also comes under the purview of a data analyst. So if he has to create beautiful dashboards or create reports, he definitely needs to work with tools such as Power BI, Tableau and MS BI. And now creating dashboards is very important because you might be a technical person and you understand what is happening with uh, you know, the analysis which you have done. But your client or your stakeholders wouldn't have that technical knowledge. So that is where you create these beautiful dashboards and present those beautiful dashboards to your clients so that they understand what is the analysis that you have performed. Going ahead, we'll look at the educational qualifications required for these two job roles. When it comes to a data scientist job role, normally it's preferred that you have a master's or a PhD in computer science, statistics or math. And a master's or a PhD is usually preferred because data science again is an umbrella term and it involves a lot of statistics and a lot of math. So all of these complex statistical analysis, all of the concepts of machine learning algorithms, these are some things which you will learn when you're doing your master's or your PhD. And there are a lot of complex things which you would have to learn in the field of computer science as well. That is also something which you learn in your master's or your PhD. Now, when it comes to a data analyst job role, there you can get the data analyst job role with a bachelor's degree or a higher degree in computer science because what a data analyst normally does is he deals with raw data and not much of heavy math or heavy statistics is involved over there. So that is why a simple bachelor's in computer science should be enough to get this role. Finally, let's look at the salary for both of these job roles. So first up, we'll compare the salary for both of these job profiles in the United States. Now, when it comes to the data scientist job role, at an entry level, you would stand to get up around eighty to $100,000. And that's really, really good, isn't it? 
And at mid-level, you would get somewhere around $100,000 to $140,000. And at senior level, since this is where most of the high-level decision-making is done, you get around $150,000 to $200,000. And that is absolutely amazing, isn't it? And when it comes to the data analyst job role, you will normally start off with around fifty to sixty thousand dollars, and at mid level that would vary between sixty to ninety thousand dollars. And at a senior level where you're making the decisions, you will get somewhere between ninety to hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Now let's also look at the salary trends for these two job profiles in India. For a data scientist, since this is again a very coveted job profile, at the entry level itself, you stand to get around 7 to 10 lakhs. For a mid-level job profile, you get around 10 to 15 lakhs. And at a senior level, this is a wide range as you guys can see, you get around 18 to 30 lakhs. And for a data analyst job role, you'd normally start off between 3 to 5 lakhs where you'll be mostly doing the basic exploratory data analysis or you'll be working with uh, some senior in your team. And at a mid-level, you stand to get around 5 to 8 lakhs. And at a senior level, you'll normally be earning around 8 to 12 lakhs per annum. So folks, this brings us to the end of this video on data analyst versus data scientist. Thank you very much. Now, before signing off, Please do not forget to like the video and also hit the subscribe button. And thank you and have a great learning ahead.